Hi, welcome to my Monday morning inspiration. Today's topic is your playing small doesn't serve the world. Three ways to recognize your fear of being grandiose. And this was born out of a conversation I had a couple of days ago with somebody I've known for a long time, a couple of decades. He's done TED Talks, he's written a number of books, he's held global leader pos leadership positions in uh, corporations, and he's looking to do his own thing. And as we talked, I said to him, well, you know, you, you appear on the surface to, to tick all the credibility boxes. So, so what's up? You know, what, what do you need help with? And then he started talking about how he felt an imposter and he was being tough on himself and he really didn't know that much. And who was he to do these kind of things? Like be a thought leader for other leaders. So as we delved, I realized, you know, his biggest fear was actually of being grandiose. And I, I recognise this as such a common fear that many of us have, uh, that we're afraid that we're going to show off, we're afraid we're going to get too big for our boots, we're afraid we're going to get ideas above our station, all that kind of stuff which so many of us can recognise. So here's, I, I, I've experienced that a lot myself in my own life, it's been one of the struggles that I've had. You know, I had a mum who used to tell me not to show off and all that kind of stuff. So I really had to go on this journey myself so I could recognise it in, in the man I was talking to. So here's just a couple of tips about well, how do you get beyond your fear of being grandiose and step into more of what I would call your, your true grandeur, you know, the essence of who you really are, your good spiritual heart, the gifts and qualities that you really have. So number one, see grandiosity as a kind of reverse arrogance. You know, we think of arrogance as like inflating ourselves. But actually, I think what most of us don't quite realise is by deflating ourselves, by putting ourselves down, is actually a form of reverse arrogance. It's like we're diminishing ourselves. And in a way, who are we to diminish ourselves? So secondly, accept your grandeur, as I would call it, rather than your grandiosity. Accept your grandeur with humility. Now, it's an interesting word, humility, because I think, you know, we often think humility is about not thinking too much of ourselves and keeping ourselves in our place. But my understanding from a spiritual perspective is that true humility is to understand that you were, you were born and created out of grandeur. There's something brilliant in you, and it came with your creation. There's nothing you can do about it. You can hide it and deny it, but it's in you. So accept that there is grandeur in you. And, and be genuinely kind of humble with that, but humble as in, well, I'm, I've got something amazing in me, but don't worry, you have too, everybody has. And thirdly, to see your grandeur as a gift to everybody. You know, when you, like I said at the beginning, when you play small, everybody loses. You know, your energy is diminished, you can end up being frustrated and cross with yourself, and the people that could benefit from your gifts and your talents and your energies and all the things that you have are robbed too. So please show up with your grandeur. So I don't know if that strikes a chord with you. It's certainly been a big theme, as I say, of my own life and I think for many people I speak to. So if you'd like to have a conversation about how do you get beyond your fear of being grandiose so that you can show up in your grandeur, please drop me a line, nick at iamnickwilliams.com and we'll arrange to have a conversation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.